Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ArcticQ and this week's update on RuneScape is mainly some patches and they also released a few resets. So firstly they made some changes to the Rise of the Six and the footage on the background is just some archive footage so it's not actual footage after the update. But basically these changes were applied to the Rise of the Six. So players are no longer attributed kills or counted for rewards if they stand between the two entry barriers and do not participate in the fight. So previously you could stand behind and not engage with the fight at all and still get your reward and still get your kill count and I guess this was used to sell the Rise of the Six kills for the completion escape requirement. But this is now no longer possible. Karil will no longer start his bombing run while still on his platform and will no longer run back to his original position if attacked by a familiar. The range of Karil's bombardment attack has been increased. The brothers can no longer enrage until Karil has finished his bombing run. Undead versions of the brothers will now be hidden underneath alive versions of the brothers if they are stacked. And the Shadow Realm mechanic has now been reworked. I don't know how much this exactly changes the Rise of the Six fight, doesn't sound like too much. And I guess somebody who does a lot of Rise of the Six knows if these updates are good or bad. So on top of that there were a bunch of ninja updates and the first one is that you can now set to use your authenticator instead of your bank pin when entering your bank. You can enable this from your bank pin options if you are willing to try this out. Cooldown times are now shown on your action bar but I actually didn't see any difference with it so I'm not sure if this update went through. The Excalibur swords were graphically updated and the enhanced Excalibur now protects on death. Gargoyles have been graphically improved and also their actions were improved graphically. And I definitely like the new models for the gargoyles at the moment and this brings the gargoyles to the era of RuneScape 3. The assist XP cap now resets on reset time so you don't have to wait 24 hours and you can do it once every day much more easily and you can also keep assisting after you reached your cap you just don't get any more xp. Bert sand delivery now resets on reset time. Players on your ignore list can no longer try to teleport next to you with the join option. Clan avatar click radius has been reduced. Chat tabs no longer flash if otherwise filtered messages are trying to come through. The camera position in Rise of the Six and Araxor fight has been now improved to be a bit better in the beginning of the fight. The death interface now displays which items won't be saved in your gravestone. You can now press ESC and cancel sending a private message. A broadcast has been added when somebody receives their first 5 year cape and 10 year veteran cape. And the final ninja update is that the apron under shirt is now colored black instead of white. But now let's go to the more significant updates to especially skillers. So Jagex now released the pure resets and to access the pure resets you just take your lodestone teleport to Lumbridge and talk with Nastroth. So there are two reset options. The option number one will reset your constitution and your prayer level to level one. And you can only do this if you have lower level than five in attack strength, defense, ranged magic and summoning. You can also reset your defense level to one and this actually seemed to be accessible by everyone. So as long as you have higher level than 10 in those skills that I just listed, you can go and reset your defense to level 1. However, if you do these resets, you will not have completed any of the quests that require those stats. So all those quests that require defense levels, for example, will now become non-completed. And if you complete the quests another time, you won't get any reward from the quest. And also when you do the reset, you will lose the rewards that you got from the quest. I'm not sure if this includes all the XP that you got from the quest, but it doesn't matter since if you complete the quest another time, there won't be any XP rewards. You won't get any keys. You will just unlock the things, for example, ancient magics if you lost your desert treasure quest due to some kind of a reset. Also, if you have locked your place with 200 million skills in high scores, you will go to the last of the list if you perform any kind of a reset 
And I guess the reason for this is mainly technical, so your character has to be re-given the stats, and that's the reason why you go to the last place of the 200 million list instead of retaining your spot. You can also choose an option that will no longer allow you to do any resets on your account. So if you never want to reset any of your stats on your account, I guess it's good to choose this option in case you get hacked, then somebody can't reset your stats while they hacked your account. Lastly, these conditions must be met in order to make your account reset. So you cannot do the resets if you have already done the reset previously, you can't do the reset if you have worn any items, you have any items in your backpack or in your beast of burden. You must wait 3 minutes after you have dismissed your familiar or dropped any items on the ground. You must remove all the items that you can't wear after the reset from your dragon keepsake box. And also you have to remember that these resets are irreversible and Jagex will not undo them for any reason. So if you don't want to reset your account ever, go there and choose that I don't ever want to reset my account. Jagex also released Wick the Trader to Bird Hope, and with Wick the Trader you can trade your bonus XP for credits, and these credits can be used to buy XP lamps or less XP bonus, however you can choose which skill you want to use the bonus on, and they can also be used to buy Silverhawk boots and charge and dungeoneering tokens, as well as some skiller outfits, and I'm definitely not a huge fan of this. Finally, although the video is already quite long, I wanna go quickly through the most interesting patch notes. The link to the patch notes will be in the description of this video, like always. So several glitches with the Max Guild teleport portal has been changed. So next portal now teleports you to a bit better location. And when using the Araxor portal, you can now actually go through the webs to the fight without going out of the cave and then coming back in. When using the Godwars dungeon portal, your kill count will reset like normally. You can no longer take familiars into runespan by using the runespan portal in Max Guild Garden. Teleporting to Glazors with the Max Guild portal will now apply the Stone of Jazz effect like it should. There was also some really significant changes with Scrimshaws, so Scrimshaw of Strength has been now named to Scrimshaw of Attack, and it actually gives you a Curacy bonus, and also Scrimshaw of Ranging and Magic will also provide you with Accuracy bonus rather than Minuscule Damage bonus. So this will become extremely useful for the people that don't have level 90 tier weaponry. Also Jagex released the engine support for the Iron Man mode, so the game now enables Iron Man mode, however you cannot access it yet. And also they made several performance optimizations, so some code runs up to 8.5 times faster than it ran before, so I hope we can see at least some kind of an improvement with the performance of the game. But I think this is finally it for this video, so it became a very long video because I went through all of the smallest little things with this update. But I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you liked this video, please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you in my next video.